Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about analyzing data obtained from chance using experiments involving letter cards from A to Z and number cards from 0 to 20. Repetition of an experiment is called trial, while the sample space of an experiment is the set of all the possible outcomes. The experimental probability of an event is the ratio of the number of times that the event occurs to the number of trials. Thus, experimental probability is equal to number of times the event occurs divided by number of trials. Experimental probability is often used to make predictions. This can be done if you know how to analyze the data obtained from the experiments. Let's now try to analyze data obtained from chance using letter cards. Let us consider this example. One card is drawn from these nine letter cards. After drawing one, the card is returned. This experiment was repeated for 20 times and the table below shows the outcomes. Let's analyze the results from the experiment. Which card occurred least often? Look at the table. Yes, A, T, and M occurred least often as shown in the table. Which card occurred most often? Refer to the table again. All right, E occurred most often, as shown in the table. What is the experimental probability of getting an I? If the question is experimental probability, let's refer our answer to the table. Let's count how many I's. So we have one, two, three. Therefore, the experimental probability of getting an I is 3 over 20. I occurred 3 times out of 20 repetitions. What is the probability that a vowel will be drawn? If the question is probability, let's refer our answer to the letter cards. So, let's count how many vowels here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, the probability that a vowel will be drawn is 4 over 9. There are 4 vowels out of 9 letter cards. What is the experimental probability of getting a vowel? If the question is experimental probability, let's refer our answer to the table. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the experimental probability of getting a vowel is 10 over 20 or 1 half. Remember to reduce your answer to its lowest term. 10 vowels occurred out of 20 repetitions. To fully understand how to analyze data from experiments, let's use the number roulette. Study and analyze this example. A roulette was spun 15 times and the table shows the result. Let's analyze the result. What is the probability of getting zero? So let's look at the roulette. So we have two zeros here. 
Therefore, the probability of getting 0 is 2 over 10. And don't forget to reduce your answer to its lowest term. And the lowest term is 1 fifth. There are two zero in the roulette. Next question. What is the experimental probability of getting zero? If the question is experimental probability, let's refer our answer to the table. So we have here three zeros here. Then the experimental probability is 3 over 15 or 1 fifth. Next question. What is the probability of getting a number more than 10? If the question is probability, let's refer our answer to the roulette. So, let's count how many numbers more than 10. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, the probability of getting number more than 10 is 4 over 10 or 2 fifths. There are four numbers in the roulette, which are more than 10. Next question. What is the experimental probability of getting a number more than 10? So, the question is experimental probability. So, let's refer our answer to the table. Let's count how many numbers more than 10. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, the experimental probability of getting a number more than 10 is 6 over 15. We reduce it to its lowest term, the answer is 2 fifth. There are 6 numbers that are more than 10 occurred out of 15 trials. The last question. What is the experimental probability of getting numbers 10 and below? So, the question is experimental probability. So, let's refer our answer to the table. Let's count how many numbers from 10 and below. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Therefore, the experimental probability of getting numbers 10 and below is 9 over 15 or 3 fifths. There are 9 numbers that are 10 and below occurred out of 15 trials. To analyze data from an experiment, it is important that you know the probability and experimental probability of the event. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.